What is up everybody on YouTube? Max Rock here with a brand new video. And today we'll be looking at me brush my hair and uh the um uh, what's that phone called? Oh, the uh, the ZT Max XL, my first impressions. Let's go. Got this phone here. I didn't realize that it was such a good brush. Like it actually gets my hair flat just the way I need it. It's kind of perfect actually. Um nice smooth bristles and everything like that. I'm just kidding guys, but this phone here has a 13 megapixel camera in the back, got a 5 in the front, LED flash, you can see a fingerprint scanner, headphone jack, got a microphone on top, used for noise canceling. On the side here you got the actual uh, SIM tray slot there, and then you on the left side, or the right side I should say, got the power button which is rigid, you got the volume up down keys, home button on the bottom there with the back and uh, multitasking buttons, speakers on the back. Also underneath this this nice uh, little brush here is a uh, 3,960 milliamp hour battery. Could be wrong, could be right, but it has a 1.4 gigahertz quad core uh, processor from Qualcomm. Um, I believe it's the 425 Snapdragon. It has the Adreno 305, I believe, as well, or is it 308? One of the two. But uh, it actually is a pretty good phone. So I'm actually going to show you guys uh, some of the numbers that I got from Geekbench. I'm going to show you guys my unscreen time with the device. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. So see you in a second. As far as the ZTE Max XL goes, my impressions of it will just be summed up with this word here. It's only a hundred bucks, and the, what you're getting for a hundred dollars can't beat it. All right. So Max XL, like I said, this is a good brush. Um, it actually gets my ways better than this one here, and this is an Annie. This is an Annie brush here, the uh, 2075, as you can see. Uh, focus that 2075. It actually gets the ways better than that brush there. So it actually has more than one use than just phone calls and watching videos and having a good camera for pictures but anywho camera performance I give it an A it's 100 bucks um, the actual bad performance I get to A I got seven hours of on screen time oh yeah I was gonna tell you guys the numbers that I got so basically so let me go over here to the gallery real quick hold on one second because if I do click gallery and have it on video here and it's gonna be some pictures that I don't want to be seen you know what I mean all right, let's see. So as you can see here, I had seven hours of on-screen time with 27% battery left, okay? And then another usage, I had six hours, 36 minutes with 34% left. This is amazing. And then the Geekbench score, I got a 689 for the single core, and I got a 2,549 for the multi-core score. So as far as numbers, this is actually exceeding expectations. Um not as far as the battery goes but definitely with the processor because i i got a phone that has a an older phone that has an octa-core i mean obviously it's an older phone so it's going to be a little bit slower but it has an octa-core processor and it'll be slower and it's got a notification here let's see what it says okay oh just put out a video in case you guys didn't know uh, it's a video somebody said the 4k screen on the xd premium is amazing that video is a joke here in case nobody got it. But anywho, let's get back to this here. ZTE Max XL. So, like I said, this is a good brush. Okay. Um, the screen itself is uh, amazing. It looks really good. It reminds me exactly of the ZTE uh, Z Max Pro that came out of Metro PCS last year. Literally about a year ago. It came out with the 22nd of August, I believe. No, 22nd of July, I think. One of those days. But it was definitely this month, I believe. But, uh... Call quality and everything else as far as the network goes is pretty good. Um, the only time you really get a signal with Sprint is when you're downtown in like any metro city. As soon as you go about a couple miles from that city, your signal begins to fade. And uh, yes, it's not the best. It just depends on where you are. I'm talking a lot of shit right now, okay? So don't be like me. Um, see if we can get this in focus here. Uh, but yeah, I got a video coming up showing me, showing the actual cameras and uh, the quality of the photos. Um... I mean, battery performance is really good. Uh, media, and let me get into the media here. The ZTE Max XL has a problem with YouTube, and a lot of users have had the same issue. Uh, the actual 
app for YouTube is kind of sketchy because you can be watching the video and then it will stop, it will like pause, black out, reload and play the video from where it was, but then it will do it a second time or a third time and then the video will actually go all black, but you will actually still be able to hear the audio. I'm not sure what kind of bug or what kind of problem that actually is, but that has to be fixed. Um, that's one of the negative things about this device, but it's more, it's, it's more so a software issue than a hardware issue. Battery performance is good. Cameras are good, in my opinion, for the price. Screen looks good. Um, I mean, what else can you want from the device here? Um, so as far as the first impressions here, I could get a little, t little bit more in depth. Charging time is pretty quick. It has a quick charge 2.0, I believe. Headphones sound really good. Uh, when I play music from it, it has the Adobe Atmos. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good phone. So uh, I could get into something else, but that'll be it for now. So just let me know like how, how cool that'll look like talking on the phone. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm talking on the phone right now. So just let me know how, how cool I look taking the pictures. How cool that'll look texting. How cool that'll look texting. Everything as far as my first impression goes with the ZTE Max XL. Um, fingerprint scanner works good. I didn't talk about that in the earlier part of the video. Fingerprint scanner works good. Camera looks good. Um, front facing camera looks good as well. Make sure you're in daylight. Battery performance is good. Screen looks good. Performance is good overall. It gets an A. But the feature that it's not getting enough praise for is the fact that it can brush your hair. You see what I'm saying? Look how good my hair looks, y'all. It's dope. So, phone's going off. This is Max Rock. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces. Deuces. Deuces.